There she is, out from underneath the covers. Let's go take a closer look. Got a phone call from my dad. Uh, today was my day off, and I'm just chilling. And it turns out he needs my help moving his Ford Model T, which means it's out from under the covers. I want to take this opportunity to get a little film on it while it's temporarily out from under cover before I have to work on it again. Let's see what we can do. There she is, out from underneath the covers. Let's go take a closer look. 1923 Ford Model T project vehicle. Now things are a little kind of a mess in the background because their house just got painted. But what you see here is unlike anything you've seen before because what we're trying to do is we're trying to build a uh, flatbed out of it just until we can get the uh, sedan four-door body redone from scratch. So dad, what is it? What is this thing? Old and cruddy, okay. How long has this thing been sitting? Yeah, just here, and then it was sitting for years by the previous owner. Yeah, here you can see it's some of the dry rotting. But, yeah, this one's low. It's not too bad, though. Yeah, true. Is there anything different about filling up the tire than a regular car? No, it's got tubes. Okay. Most cars have tubeless today. Alright, so it's more like a bike tire. Yep. Okay. Interesting. We just had to move it from here to there so that the tree people can get back into the backyard get to that monster of a tree back there. Okay, so we're looking at moving the Model T, but we got to clean out the coils first and make, get them to work. This is kind of a mess, but yeah, these are the four that. coils. I had to clean up the contacts a little bit. Now this part I haven't messed with yet because there really isn't anything wrong with that, but it could all use a good overhaul at some point. But the contacts were kind of corroded up and stuff, so I cleaned those up. I think these boxes have been reworked. Okay, so what are the different parts of that? Well, very simply, inside you've got a, a coil, a set of coils, and you've got a uh, capacitor. And what it does is when it, the coil energizes, it pulls this contact down in here, which you can barely oh, I see. I see. Yeah, perfect yeah. angle. And once that pulls down, it breaks the contact, and then the coil loses energy and it charges back up again, so it creates a capacitance charge and runs back through these contacts to the mm -hmm. spark plug. Now, in order for that to make contact to the spark plug, the box has to be cleaned up that this sits in. And that's this over here? And that's that box there, which you can see, the contacts are still a little cruddy. Yeah. One of them down below has got some buildup on it. So I'm gonna clean those up a little bit and then try and put it all back together and see if I get a little better firing. So all the contacts have been cleaned and buffed and should be good to go.
Well, I don't think they're going anywhere. Well, they want to. That's the thing. They vibrate. You want to make sure they stay firm against the contact plates. Fair enough. So, put them all in and then they use a spacer. Little shims? Shims, yeah. These are just basic wood shims. I mean, yeah, I see that. Ford made these to be workable by the average person, you know, your, your farmer, your homeowner, whatever. So it's just a regular shim. So we'll and also for on. and also for the uh, well, there were no carriage shops to work, be able yeah, to work they, on too. They didn't have mechanics back then. Yeah, they just had the people that would fix the carriages. I forget what they're called. Sorry, YouTube, for not knowing what a carriage mechanic is called. <laughs> I know there is a name for it, so look it up and let me know in the comments. <laughs> There's a lot of do-it-yourself back then. For sure. So like I said, we didn't have service stations like we do today. And these clip it doesn't clip right now, so we're just gonna see what kind of fell back down, but that's okay. So if it's all gravity feed and there's no fuel pump, what's the switch for? Ah, okay. Yes. Look at all that horsepower. All 20 horses inside that tiny little metal box. Exactly. At least one of them is. It looks like just one of them. Yeah, Looked like it was that one. This one. Yeah. This one was? No, the third one. Yeah. Yeah, it's the only one moving. Oh, I saw another one move. Yeah, they're taking turns. Yeah. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but this still looks cool. <laughs> don't want to burn up the starter. What about that thing, Majig? <laughs> All right, second attempt. We'll see. Oh, sputter. Welp, that would explain why it doesn't want to start. There's no, okay, that's not showing anything. All right, there we go. There's no gas in there. Hopefully this solves our problem. I guess you need to move your uh, expedition, and which means I need to move my car. Okay. For 2008, I'd say his truck still looks pretty good. All right, let's give it a shot. Wait a second, are you saying she likes to be choked a little bit? Okay. She's an old girl that likes to be choked a little bit. All right, cool. <laughs> Attempt number three, by the way. 
Well, the battery was on a trickle charger, wasn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Nothing yet. Looking at that little thing hanging down, trying to see if any fuel comes trickle. Oh, there we go, there we go, we got fuel, got fuel. Cool. It was Hopefully that did the trick. No smoking, for sure. All right, so it's dribbling out the bottom. We need to start it. Now she's trying. All right. Look at that tire go. All right, do I need to drop it down? All right, so uh, gonna drive it to Cars and Coffee, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, she is she's steamy. Yeah, she's warm right now. Yeah. I'm gonna have to check the whole system to make sure she's not running too hot. She's got water in her and everything. She's not boiling over, so that's good. Yeah. All right, so that's it for today. I combined a little bit of video that I took a few days ago or a week or two ago or whatever. I don't remember how long ago it was. But combine that with what we did today, trying to get the Model T moved. First video of the Model T series. I'll try to keep up with all the updates. My dad's mostly working on this, and I don't live at home anymore. So I'll do my best to keep up with it and help whenever I can. More updates coming soon. Have a great day, y'all. <laughs>